guys, welcome to a video where I talk a lot more. Don't you love it? You know, because everybody likes that. And rather than listening to all the fake engineers and science out there, I decided to do my own scientific testing on this here Titan. <laughs> transmissions, I mean Eisen transmissions that comes in the fifth, <laughs> the fifth Jing Cummins that makes it so brap is quite nice actually and you know allocates a reason for not having a jake break and causing unused pressure to the motor. So what is a Nissan Titan? It's an American assembled vehicle that was made to save gas fuel and it was still able to haul trailers so as you can see here there's a gooseneck. you know, save gas mileage and still tow big things, as you can see here. And you might ask, what does this thing remind me of? Well, and you know what I think of? Another capable thing about the Nissan Titan would be the independent front suspension, leading it to ride more like a GMC Denali and not like a Ford or a Dodge, where it actually tracks straight down the road. To me, the orange interior... And to me, the orange, and to me, the orange interior is ex exclusive, and I love it. I can't find that in any other option. It's always red or blue with any other vehicle. So I'm very appreciative of that. Since this V8 D turbo diesel offered two turbos from factory, it also seems to be a little bit quiet at idle. But if you want to wake up your neighbors, you can definitely throw a burn barrel on it. This thing will be loud. Capabilities? I still haven't pushed it. <laughs> Like she's hauling pretty good. We're going pretty steadily up the hill right now. You can see up there, it's pretty steep. It ain't no problem. And with an update to the ECU that the dealerships will not do because it could cause more ECU damage, causing them more money in the long term, I updated the ECU so that way all the weird little bugs, such as the phone staying on, were gone. Inevitably, the Asian transmission, Aizen, why can't I say it right, will need tuning because, you know, they didn't have the, enough capital back then to well not really back then it was only a couple years ago but they didn't really have capital to to further you know invest money onto this platform but if you just do some transmission tuning and upload it it shifts well and it shifts like the ones in the 2019 to 2023 dodge ram 2500 3500s enough rambling you guys probably want to hear the truck huh oh pickup sorry Okay guys, so help me help you by liking and commenting on this video and showing Nissan that we truly do want a half ton, three quarter ton rig that can handle what we throw at it. As well, that's not quite, you know, damnable because we are currently living in war and a global pandemic that has caused major crises, is causing a heavy duty diesel not to be quite as affordable. And some people would just like to tow the trailers. And this, this was a great option, but for some reason they got discontinued because America was stuck up on the fact that they weren't I don't know, American, but they really were made in America. So I'm going to continue to enjoy my half ton made for three quarter ton crap. stuff is sloppy. Oh, oh, we just went to voicemail. Okay. Well, I'm not even surprised that you didn't pick up. I've been trying to get this windshield replaced for a while now. And it's a good thing I didn't do that video, guys, because otherwise I would have been out of windshield. As well, I can tell I'm actually becoming kind of a known YouTuber because people already hate me. And it's not even like our generation. My generation, if you, you know, everybody else just 
older people actually. I'm surprised. DD, he's always drunk driving up here, and since he's gonna be a dude names now, I'm gonna go to the sheriff. I'm actually gonna go to the sheriff. So. Throw the wheel over. Ah. No, I'm joking, guys. It's not that fun. It's not that bad.